Hello, my dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing very good. So today's date is fifteenth April, twenty twenty, and the day is Wednesday. And in our last class, we have studied a poem that is Ferdinand Frog and a Flea. And now we are moving on with our second chapter, that is a fish and a gift, which was written by Lil Jobson. So before starting the chapter, I would like to discuss a few things about the writer itself. So Lil Jobson is a South African writer, musician, and a photographer. Her poetry and prose have appeared in various journals and anthologies in South Africa and internationally too. So we can say she is a very prominent writer. Correct. So now let's move on with the chapter. And before starting the chapter, I would like to ask you a question: Which is the best gift you have ever received? Who gave you that gift? When did you get the gift? What was the gift? And the last one: What was so special about it? So as you cannot tell me right now, so pause the video for a minute, go and have a discussion with your parents, and then come back. Okay. So now I think you have made your discussions with your parents. So now let's start with the chapter. So in this story, there is a young boy Yusuf and the special gift he got from his father. And the story goes like this: One special Friday, Yusuf's father gets dressed before a flicker of light brightens the sky. Today is the day I will catch a fish and bring a gift home for you. A fish and a gift. Oh, what will it be? So here the author says that on a special Friday, Yusuf's father gets dressed up very early in the morning, and he says to Yusuf that today I am going to bring a gift for you. And Yusuf was very excited to hear this. After that, Papa cycles down to Musenberg Beach. Squeak, squeak, go the wheels all the way to Surfers Corner. What will Yusuf's father bring from the ocean? What, what, what? What will you bring back for Yusuf? Here in these lines, Papa cycles down to the to the Musenberg Beach where he usually go for fishing. So in the in the middle of the way, there are some seagulls, those birds. Uh, they asked Yusuf's father that what you are going to bring for Yusuf, and wait and see what it will be. And Yusuf's father says that. You must. We must. And Yusuf's father says that we must wait and see that what the gift will be. Papa always sings a song. He sings the song while he pulls the oars. He sings the song as he winds the ropes. Drop and swish, find a fish, pull and plop. Don't you stop. So this is a song which his father used to sing always while fishing. The boat rides into the waves. Papa's arms stretch to the oar. His leg braces against the side. In these lines, the author is saying that now the boat is in the sea, and Papa is stretching his arms in order to row the boat with the help of the oars. Oars are जो चप्पू जिसे हम कहते हैं ना जिससे हम बोट को पोश एंड पुल करते हैं ठीक है सो हिज लेग ब्रेसेस अगेंस्ट द साइड दैट मीन्स दैट फादर्स लेग्स आर इन द साइड्स ऑफ द बोर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन अ प्रॉपर बैलेंस और खुद को भी स्टेबल रखने के लिए एंड बोर्ड को भी स्टेबल रखने के लिए वी ही इज यूजिंग हिज लेग्स सो नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पेज समटाइम्स ही ब्रिंग्स अ जर्ल ग्रीन बॉटल रेस्ट बाय द वेव्स समटाइम्स ही ब्रिंग्स अ ब्यूटिफुल शेल Some days, Yusuf's father brings a story like the time they found sea turtles on the sand, hundreds washed up in a storm. Yusuf's father and uncle and cousins heave and pull. So here, the author is saying that this is not the first time that Yusuf's father had promised a gift to Yusuf. It's very common. So, मतलब Yusuf के father जो हैं बहुत common सी बात है जो उसके लिए gifts लाते रहते हैं जैसे कि एक बार उसके लिए ज्वेल ग्रीन कलर की बॉटल लाए थे जो कि समुद्र की लहरों की वजह से किनारे पर आ गई थी एंड वंस ही ब्रॉड अ ब्यूटीफुल शेल मतलब जो शेल्स होते हैं क्रिट्स जो सी एनिमल्स होते हैं उनके कुछ शेल्स होते हैं वो भी उसको ला कर देते हैं जैसे जो आपने कभी शंख देखा होगा दोज पंडित यूज टू ब्लो वो भी एक क्या है शेल है सो so नाव और कभी कभी सम डेज यूसुफ फादर ब्रिंग अ स्टोरी उसके लिए कोई स्टोरी भी लाते हैं जैसे कि एक बार क्या हुआ कि एक समुद्र में एक तूफान आने की वजह से बहुत सारे टर्टल्स यानी कछुए समुद्र के किनारे पर आकर इकट्ठे हो गए थे 
and whenever they are on fishing yusuf father is not alone there is yusuf's uncle and yusuf's cousin as well accompanying yusuf's father so now let's move on to the next page a little shark has been caught it twists and thrashes about Yusuf's father untangles the nets when the shark at last is free it streaks back into the waves a hard white triangle catches the finger of papa so here the author is saying that a little shark has been caught in the net ek choti si shark jo thi papa ke net mein phans gayi thi and it was thrashing about thrashing about ye jhatpata rahi thi so what yusuf's father did he untangles the net and lets the shark free उसको वापस जाने देते हैं तो इट स्ट्रीक्स बैक इनटू द वेव्स स्ट्रीक्स मतलब वह बहुत स्पीड में चले जाना या स्पीड में भागना सो द शार्क स्ट्रीक्स बैक इनटू द वेव्स बहुत स्पीड में वो वेव्स में जाती हैं बट एट लास्ट हिज फादर ऑब्जर्व दैट हिज फिंगर इज बीन कॉट अप विद अ वाइट ट्राइंगल टाइप ऑफ थिंग एंड वॉट वॉज इट कैन यू गेस राइट एट इज अ शार्क टूथ सो What, 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 what did you bring for Yusuf? The seagulls on the way, which he met while coming to the beach, are again asking the same question when he is back to the home. When Yusuf's father is back on the way to home, so what are they asking? What did you bring for Yusuf? आप Yusuf के लिए क्या लाएं? Papa answers the girl, a lucky shark tooth for my boy. Right? So at home, Yusuf holds his gift up. to the stars excitedly or at the end jab yusuf ke father ghar pahunchte hain aur wo yusuf ko apna gift dikhate hain so yusuf us gift ko dekh kar bahut khush hota hai bahut excited hota hai and he holds up his gift up to the stars yani aasman ki taraf upar karke wo usko dekhta hai that means yusuf was very happy with the gift he received from his father so now that's all with the story now let's move on to the next now let uh, as we are done with the story Let us test your knowledge that how much you have learned and how much you have understood the story. So, in this question, number the following sentences according to the order in which they occurred in the story. So here, a few sentences are given, and you have to set them or number them accordingly as they have been appeared in the story. आपको story में जब जब ये sentences आए थे, तो according to that you have to mark them. Okay? So now we are done with the chapter. This is your homework, and uh, at the end, I would like to thank you or uh, thank you all. And dear parents, I have a request to you that please help your child by having a relevant discussion on the pros, and which will help to enhance the knowledge further. Thank you, and have a nice day.